Glucose was first isolated from raisins by Andreas Margraf in 1747. Its name was first coined by Jean Dumas in the year 1838 and its structure was discovered by Emil Fischer around the turn of the century. Before we define glucose, did you know that the work of Emil Fischer on the function of glucose has earned him the 1902 Nobel Prize in Chemistry? Glucose, also called dextrose, is an example of carbohydrates known as simple sugars or the monosaccharides. This is its structure and it has a molecular formula of C6H12O6. Glucose is one of the body's preferred source of food in the form of carbohydrates. It provides the energy needed by all cells and organs in the body and is used to provide carbohydrate calories to a person who cannot eat due to trauma or other medical condition. Other than that, glucose is used in commercial food production as sweetener, thickener, and moisture retaining agent. The normal levels of glucose have different ranges before and after eating. A healthy range of 90 to 130 mg per deciliter should be retained before eating, and after an hour or two, it should be less than 180 mg per deciliter. Non-regulation could lead to several disorders depending on the amount of glucose levels. High glucose levels leads to diabetes, hyperthyroidism, and pancreatitis. For low levels, it leads to hypothyroidism, liver disease, and starvation. If these are not directly attended, it will have long-term consequences such as neuropathy, heart disease, skin infections, problems in the joints and extremities, especially the feet. In summary, glucose, or commonly known as blood sugar, is the major source of energy for the body's cells. Glucose also comes from the foods we eat or the body can make it from other substances. Glucose is carried to the cells through the bloodstream. It is important to have an understanding about its function because most of the cells in your body use glucose along with amino acids.